Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Elixir Foundation series. In this episode right here, uh, we're going to be filtering out this list of network calls. So for example, over here, I've got simpleanalytics.io where I'm using to track views and whatever, pay my page views, but it's actually not relevant to our page, to the structure of our page. It doesn't, you know, like it's not like downloading JavaScript that's going to be used to render the page or anything like that. So uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys a cool trick in here. Uh, and then basically we're going to implement this into our code um, to filter out the, the URL to only to be the relevant ones. So um, let's say we have a URL, uh, something like this. So, and then we're going to do HTTPS www.artelectral.com. So we want to, uh, our code, our, our engine, rendering engine, to only monitor um, network calls that are that have this in their URL. So like, for example, everything that's coming from the origin of the site, um, we want to monitor. So everything else, we're just going to scrap. So I'm going to use this thing. Uh, it's an operator uh, with a, uh, equals and then a, a, a tilde. And basically the way it works is like this. So let's say if I compare this string to my URL, um, it's going to do a partial match. Uh, it's going to basically check if this string has, you know, what's on the right hand side. So if I do URL, it's going to return false because nothing in here is, you know, even has, you know, this whole string. So if this whole string, if the URL is a sub string of um, the ones on the, on the left, it's going to return true. So let's try this with um, one of the URLs over here, like this SVG file over here. I'm going to do a comparison like this. And then I'm going to do URL. This is going to return true. So essentially, we can use this to filter out um, the irrelevant URLs before we actually update our state over here. Uh, so if we can do something like this. So uh, if the URL, uh, we can maybe store so this is the origin URL that we're passing in. So let's say this is kind of like the landing page. Um, it might be worth it to kind of like, for now, we're going to hard code it. I don't want to, I don't want to use this URL because this is a, a trick. Uh, if I, if I pass in like, for example, a sub page where, you know, when we're downloading assets, it's always going to reference the assets. So what we want to check is just the root domain, the root level. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, origin or origin uh, HTTPS dot art dot com. So basically, we're going to use this this origin to kind of like track um, or to filter out. And basically, later on, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is like you can pass this in as a configuration um, in our Elixir project, for example. Um, yeah, so basically it has to contain this origin correctly. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be ignored. It's not going to be tracked, right? Uh, so here we have access to the origin. It's in here. Um, so for now, uh, if we're going to do something like if URL uh, equals tilde state dot origin, um, then we're going to do this uh, update on our uh, agent over here. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a nicer way to write this whole thing uh, later on. For now, this should be suffice. Um, uh, so basically, what we're going to do now is going to try and actually run this code. And uh, then we'll see that, you know, now simple analytics is gone from the list of the URL we're tracking. And we're only tracking the ones that are relevant. Uh, so I'm going to close out the server just for good measure. And I'm going to start the renderer. So OK, PID equals botiful dot uh, render dot engine dot start link https artelectual dot com. All right. Whoops, so something bad happened over here. Ah, okay, so uh, I don't want to just I want to come. I want to delete this old code. So I got a bit ahead of myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the stuff for now. Uh, so we're going to go, go back to that to the filtering code. Everything actually should be fine. So I'm going to close this and run this again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do okay PID, and then basically 
uh, bodyfull.render.engine, start link, and then https artelectual.com. Yeah, so hit enter, and now everything should be fine. So now, uh, if I call um, the network URLs function, so I'm going to do bodyfull.render.engine.network URLs, PID. We should get all the URLs except for um, simple analytics stuff. So yeah, everything here is our intellectual. Our filter is actually working. Great. Uh, so in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys, we're going to monitor uh, another event, uh, as I mentioned before, which is the actual response received. So now you can kind of already start to see what we're going to do. We're going to filter out the relevant URLs, and we're going to track the state to make sure that all the relevant URL that we're tracking are returning the correct results. And then now we can say, oh, our page is complete. You can kind of start to see the solution forming now. You can start to like understand where I'm going with all this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If uh, I, I didn't explain something clearly, please let me know in the forums. I'm our, always going to be monitoring these forums because this is our internal um, you know, forums and it has a lot of cool features like syntax highlighting, uh, which makes it very easy. Uh, to, you know, like you can ask a question, you can give us feedback, you can do content requests, um, you know, all kinds of cool stuff in here. So you can ask a uh, Elixir question or Ruby or JavaScript question or whatever it is. Uh, so let me say like, for example, um, I want to, you know, show uh, my code. I want to ask a question. You can do something like def module my uh, render dot engine do end, something like that. And then basically I can do uh, syntax highlighting, so I can highlight this code, and I can do that, and it'll syntax highlight my code. Um, great. So uh, you can, you know, type out your question here. Let me know what you need help with, or maybe you have actually feedback to give me. Uh, it doesn't have to be a question. It can be, you know, something you can add, you can add. You can say, hey, Zach, why don't you do it like this? Happy to listen. Happy to always improve. Um, so let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, so yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up. So thank you for becoming a member. Uh, get the most out of your uh, membership by, you know, uh, asking a question or giving us a feedback or requesting a piece of content. Um, so yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next episode.